Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Eloise and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new and never seen me before, I'm super happy to have you here. Today I wanted to talk about 10 mistakes that new or existing rat owners make. Rats are adorable and make awesome pets, but unfortunately not a lot of people know how to properly care for rats. So that's kind of what I want to share with you guys today. Now hear me out, I'm not bagging anyone out who makes these mistakes. I've made some of these mistakes. The important thing is to learn from them and then improve and make your rats' lives better. We're only human. <laughs> Number one is the, the most important thing that I want you to know. Rats need friends. People often think that rats are kind of like Syrian hamsters, so they think that they can live alone, but that is not true. Rats are social animals and they need to live in packs. They groom each other, they play with each other, they sleep together, they need that friendship and that bond. If they don't have this companionship, they often become sad, depressed, and this will affect their health as well. So the best thing you can do for your rat is get it a friend. Number two, people buy rats from pet shops. The rats at pet shops are often bred in mills, much like puppy mills, you may have heard of that, out the back of the store. They're bred in tanks, they're often not in the right conditions. The rats often aren't separated as to sex, like they're not separated in males and females. This leads them to breed too early in their life. Rats from pet shops are also unfortunately prone to respiratory issues, like they have trouble breathing. Number three, you use sawdust or like wood shavings or towels for bedding. Now in my rat's cage tour, I think, I talked about that I had towels for bedding. This is an example of me learning recently that towels are bad. I'll talk about that in a second. The problem with wood shavings is that they cause liver and respiratory issues in rats. Wood shavings are extremely commonly sold. Even pet shops will suggest that you use them, but they are so bad for rats. There are some good wood shavings that you can use, but it's best not to use any. I like to use little recycled paper pellets. It's like cat litter. And fleece is the other really good option. Number four, people often get a cage that is too small or they think a aquarium glass tank is good for rats. Tanks don't provide enough space, they don't provide any ventilation and they make the air humid. You will find that ammonia, like from the rat's pee and poo and whatever, will build up and that is again bad for the rat's respiratory system. <laughs> also note though, don't have a cage that has a wire bottom because rats feet can get stuck in this and they can break their legs. There are cage area calculators, I'll leave one in the description. Number five is that you don't realise how long rats live. Unfortunately, their lifespan is very short usually about two to three years only. Rats that come from pet shops, their lifespan is usually 12 months to 18 months. Not only is this bad for yourself emotionally and if you have other family members, they're obviously going to feel sad when your rats pass away, but also it's not fair on your other rats either if you can't then get them another friend because as number one was, rats need friends. <laughs> Number six, rats aren't cheap. Rats initially are cheap, like $10 for a rat, but you also need to pay for a big cage, their food, their toys to keep them entertained, and medical bills. This is the not so nice side about rats. They make such good pets, but they are so extremely prone to respiratory issues and even females are very prone to tumours. You also need to consider not every vet around you is capable of dealing with rats. Some rats don't have much knowledge about rats. So you need to consider that you may need to pay for travel to find another vet or like an exotic vet, which then the price goes up. Number seven is that people don't realize what a rat's diet should be. Often people feed rats a pellet mix and that is just not enough to keep a balanced diet. Rats should really have cut up fruit and veggies for them, offered to them every day. They can eat pretty much everything we can eat, but there are a few things which, with research, you'll find out that they can't eat, like cabbage or 
dried corn, that's also bad for them, or very sweet foods. You should still provide them with a pellet mix, but make sure you look up one that is like a complete pellet mix. Number eight. People don't realise there's a difference between males and females and that males and females need to be kept separate. They can breed from five weeks old up until whenever and that could be a hundred something babies a year or even more if you count like all the babies having babies. Right? <laughs> Males and females have different like traits, so a male is like commonly more lazy, more sleepy, more cuddly and females are much better for training for example because they're very active and very adventurous. So it's kind of down to what you prefer. A neutered male can live with females and vice versa but it's not a good idea to be indecisive about what sex you want to keep and then make your rat get neutered because any operation is life-threatening and that's just not fair, so... Oh, charming baby. Number nine is that rats are very intelligent. You may know this one, but they need a lot of playtime because of that. They need a lot of things in their cage to keep them entertained or they can get bored and lonely and sad. Nobody wants that. If you can provide them with more than an hour a day, Playtime, free time, that's that's really good. But you need to make sure, because they're so intelligent, that you, you give them all some boundaries, so to say. Don't let them go under furniture, make sure you like block off any like power cords so they don't chew power cords. Yeah, things like that. And finally, number 10 is that parents get rats for children. A, a person who is that old cannot solely be responsible for a pet rat. It's not fair to put that responsibility on someone so young. Most of the time, kids that age don't have the money, let alone the responsibility. They can't take on the responsibility to completely look after a pet rat or multiple. Two rats or more. I know parents think that rats are good for kids because, you know, they're cute, they're friendly, it's a, a small pet that you can keep in the cage, they don't bite, but you can't expect your child to be responsible for that. You as an adult need to be the sole owner. Adults often, because they don't know the lifespan either, don't realise it's going to be heartbreaking for your kid to go through as well. I know a lot of young people watch my rat videos, so hi if you're watching and you're young. If your parents don't let you get a rat, th these reasons that I've mentioned may be some of the reasons why. And yeah, that's 10 mistakes people often make. If you make them, that's okay. You're only human. You, you just gotta learn from it. I hope you guys found this helpful and educational. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. I wanna also let you know before you go, yes, don't leave. I see you about to leave. I'm doing a Rat Care 101 series very soon on this channel. I'm gonna go over things more in depth and do like a three video series. So I'll talk about everything you need to know before you get rats when you have rats and then what to do when things go wrong. Yeah, so if you're looking forward to that, also give a big thumbs up. Yeah, so make sure you're subscribed if you aren't and make sure you click that little notification so you get the notification when I post those rat videos. That'd be cool. If you have any questions or any tips, leave them below so we can all discuss and talk about rats. And yeah, I'll see you guys in next week's video.